Good afternoon, I'm Terry Fitzgerald from the Child Nutrition Department, USDA Foods. Today we'll be talking about USDA Food Monthly Ordering. We have two web pages. One is the Child Nutrition website. The first web page lists is the Child Nutrition. This, is provi this provides a lot of information on the Food Distribution Program, also known as FDP. Here you will find information such as PFG delivery schedule, NOI net off invoice information, favors, DOD Department of Defense, price per case, along with step by steps on placing your monthly survey. On the second website, which is CMP Web, here you will find how to place your monthly survey orders, find your applications, your entitlement, your survey, which includes your annual survey, allocations, and orders, along with the monthly orders. Steps to log into CMP and FDP. You will log into your CMP web. You're going to select FDP. You want to make sure that you select year 2023. Then you're going to locate the sponsor name by clicking on the first letter of your sponsor name slash district. After you find your sponsor name, you're going to click on the sponsor number to the left hand side. This takes you to the sponsor summary page. Again, this is the Child Nutrition website. You're going to click on where the green arrow is where it says log into CMP web. You're going to select the FDP food distribution program. Here's where you're going to make sure that you're on the program year 2023. Then you're going to locate your sponsor by clicking on the first letter of your sponsor name. Once you click on this, you'll see the sponsor number to the left hand side. This will take you to the sponsor summary page. Place in your monthly survey from the sponsor summary page. You're going to select orders. You're going to select new orders. You're going to select your location, your delivery period, and then next. Here is an example. Orders is highlighted in a dark blue. That means you are working on that tab. After orders, you're going to select new orders. You're going to select the location. If you have only one location, it will only list one location. If you have a couple locations, then you select the, the location you want to work on first. After that, you select a delivery period. This is where you're going to decide how many cases of each item you want delivered the following month in the order quantity box for each location. If you have one location, then you're, only going, to, you're going to put how many cases of that particular item you want to come the following month. If you have more than one delivery location, when you place a different delivery location, order the quantity available, you must reduce by the previous delivery location order. You can only order up the number of cases showing in the quantity, available quantity column. You do not, if you do not take the, them all each month, you can take less if you want. The remaining cases you do not take each month will roll over the following month. April is the very last monthly survey. The items that are showing on this survey will be shipped to you in May and will not be refused. The next is how to order surplus items. You're gonna click on the allocation tab. You're gonna click on add surplus. You will see cases of products that are at the distributor and, and there is no ownership to these. You can put in how many cases you want In the, in the requested quantity column. So for instance, there was 389 cases of blueberries sitting at the warehouse. How many cases do you want to come in on that order? You would put in the requested quantity. After you have done this step, you must go back to the orders tab and do the same exact steps as if you were placing your monthly survey. 
if you want those items to come the following month with your monthly survey. If you do not do this step, those items will not come in the following month, but they will be rolled over on your monthly survey, which will be, the next one will be November. After you, again, after you request surplus items, you will go back and follow the previous directions for the monthly order to add this to the delivery. If this step is not taken, you will not receive your surplus items the following month. They will show up on the following monthly survey. To view a monthly survey, you go to the sponsor summary page. This is where all the tabs are. Once the monthly survey closes, after the 15th of each month, select orders. Look for the period that is, is the ordered month. Click on view. Quantity, receipt quantity is what is to be delivered, not already delivered. So right here is what a monthly order will look like. This school is going to receive two cases of beef patties, two cases of applesauce cups, and two cases of chicken strips to come in the following month. To view annual survey, click on surveys, click on view. From the drop down month, you can select all or a month. The month could change based on when the order is purchased from the vendor. When you select the month here where the green arrow is, this means that tentatively is what has been, has been scheduled for the month for the truck to come into the warehouse. When setting up the annual order, there are months that you select. Unfortunately, those months are always incorrect because it could be a truck that's been pushed back or the state of Maine might select splitting another truck with another state. When ordering the USD foods each month, the first of the 15, so right now, the monthly survey orders open right now from the October 1st to the 15th. Those items will get delivered to you the following month in November. The same goes for November. When we open up the, the monthly survey order, November 1st to the 15th, you will get those items the following month in December. Whatever month you are working on from the 1st to the 15th, always remember they come in the following month. If you do not place a monthly survey, everything will roll to the following month. You will not receive any USD food if you do not complete a monthly survey. If no monthly orders are placed, all cases will be delivered in May. This order cannot be refused. In the past, we have had some people have, that were never putting in a monthly order and they received 500 and something cases when it came to the end of the year. And they were not, uh, and where they purchased these, these cases, they could not, they were prepaid and they have to take all cases. It is the responsibility to find room for all of these cases. They cannot be refused. They cannot come back to PFG. They are yours. Does anybody have any questions? We have one question. Do you have to edit the sponsor application sheet every month? No. If somebody has replaced another contact person, you can go in and change it and it will show up on the revive for me to go in and, and approve it. You do wanna make sure that if you did not do a September monthly survey, that both of your applications are in approved status and not pending status. I will take you back just so, to show you what I mean.
On the Applications tab, you will see the status says Approved on the Sponsor Application Sheet. You will also see Approved on the Delivery Location Information Sheet. Those two have to be an approved status for you to be able to put in our October monthly survey. If they are not, you must go in and take care of this. Hi, this is David. I just wanted to make something on this screen. Terry mentioned making sure that you have the storage capabilities checked. If you don't check those, for instance, if you only check dry and refrigerated, you won't get frozen even if you placed an order for them. The system saying by not checking the frozen, you don't want frozen there. Terry doesn't know if you want frozen delivered to a separate location. So when she's approving these, she doesn't know if anything's not checked, if that's correct. So make sure when you're doing this, you take your time and you check the appropriate boxes. Again, as David was saying, um, you want to make sure those are correct. You can go in and check your forms. And again, how to check your forms. You want to go on the sponsor summary box. This is where all your information is going to be to check your applications to make sure they're not in pending submission, to make sure that they're in approved status. You also have the entitlement. The entitlement is what starts you off with a PAL. You start off for X amount of money and it draws down from everything that you have ordered. The survey tab, the survey tab is for you to go in and look, if you're fairly new, what you have ordered for the school year. The allocation tab, the allocation tab is, is works for getting more items or it works on my behalf of when I'm doing fills. Do not look at the fills. Those are all for me and me only. If you see, want to know if you got any new items that you weren't sure if they became allocated or not, you click on allocation tab. If you see a blank line that and you click view, that means what you have ordered extra to come in the following month on your monthly order. Inventory is inventory. What inventory does is it tells you what you have bought so far and how much you have cases left for the year. The inventory will go up as, as more trucks come in. Your orders tab, your order tab is to place your monthly orders and your orders tab is to check to view your monthly orders to see what you placed. Invoicing, we don't use that too. That's something that you don't have to worry about. Questions? There are no more questions. I'm looking forward to you all doing a great job this year. Thank you very much and have a great day.